So here we have two older finished pieces and this is the most recent creation. You'll notice this is the front and it has a bit of, you can kind of see some uh, obalescence through the uh, through the chip on the on the facet on my left um, or could for a, for a split. Uh, it's not high quality quartz like this Pequot stuff here which is wrapped with a similar wire as well as that. I think these are gold plated wires. Well, this is a uh, uh, gold colored copper and we'll go ahead and look at the back and see it's nice and pretty and clean. It's empty and it's taut. It's a little jiggly up here, but this is, this is what holds the whole single, uh, supposedly single wire. Now that they're wrapped so, so many times, this is, this is the tight on the bottom and it, and it it looks decent up front. It's not too messy. You just caught some obalescence there through the lens. The whole thing, you know. So this would, uh, the, this loop, we'd put one of these wrapped hemp strings through. We'll look at one of those. It's five cords hamstring, and uh, you tie at one end. You tie at the sep the the other end, and you wrap a, a fifth around uh, four, and uh, it, it'll look something like that. And this this is an older piece, the selenite wand. I had this back when my uh, when my first house cat was still living. The the selenite wand. That's the back, and that's the sterling silver wire. That's a hundred percent or ninety five percent silver wire. It's a, it was more expensive than uh, silver coated. You'll notice the silver coated is kind of shiny. If I can get it, see it's it it's got a shine to it because it's just coating or plating rather than this being solid silver up here so we added some solid silver we added some hemp and that's the front and that's the back and this is the this is the Pequot stone with a similar hemp cord fashion and I got these little clasps from Joann's or wherever you, you can find them online too this, this had needed an intricate mask because this is it's a smaller stone but it's more valuable it's a Pequot stone you know from Ledger Lantern Hill the Lenin Lenape race, they uh they were all Mash and Tucket tribe and then they split into Pequots Mohegans and Ledger got the fault with the diamonds on the reservation. See if we'll look at it at that angle. It's a decent shard. It's a single shard that comes from the tip down here all the way up to the top up here. So on the, our most recent piece is Brazilian quartz. I got three pounds at a steal of a deal for